All right, so I'm going to expand this polynomial, and then I'm going to factorize. I'm going to do it forwards, I'm going to do it backwards. So to expand it, we multiply this bracket by this bracket using the FOIL method, and then once we've got that, we can multiply it by uh, this bracket. So I'm going to move through it really, really quickly. All right, so what I've done is take a uh, cubic in factor form and I've expanded it until it's in expanded form. Now, the obvious question is, if I've done that, I should be able to reverse uh, that whole process. Um, now, if you look at the process, I've been doing multiplying. So reversing that multiplication process probably... Um, requires some sort of division. So we're going to do division of polynomials and we're going to do it using the old school method of long division. So a quick reminder of how long division works. If you've got like 271 and you're going to divide it by uh, 11, let's say, how many times does 11 go into 2? It doesn't. How many times does 11 go into 27? It goes in there twice. Now 2 times 11 is 22, so I can put 22 under here. 27 minus 22 is uh, 5. Bring the 1 down. 51. How many times does 11 go into 51? 4 times. 4 times 11 is 44. Subtract 1 from the other. And 7 is my remainder. So I can say that 271 divided by 11 is 24, remainder 7. That's long division. We're going to do long division with polynomials. So here's my polynomial, and I'm going to divide it by um, something. Now, think about what we did. We did this times this, and then um, got that quadratic, and then we did this times this, uh, and then we got this whole polynomial. So this times this times this makes this. So if I divide by one of these, my answer should be, so if I divide by x minus 2, my answer should be that. If I divide by x minus 2, my answer should be that, because that times that is that, and multiplication and division are opposites. So I'm going to do x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6, and I'm going to divide it by x minus 2. And I'll know I've done it correctly if my final answer is this. So uh, let's now look at how we're going to divide. So I'm going to take this first term and I'm going to divide it by just, just my leading term. So I'm going to do x cubed divided by x. And x cubed divided by x is x squared. x cubed divided by x is x squared. Okay. Now, when I was doing um, long division, I said, okay, now, if that's true, x squared times x minus 2 is what I'm going to subtract here. So, uh, x cubed times x minus 2 is x cubed, um, and then x squared times negative 2 is negative 2x squared. All right, and I subtract 1 from the other. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0, and positive 2x squared minus minus 2x squared is 2x squared plus 2x squared, uh, which is 4x squared. Bring down your next term. Okay, now we have 4x squared minus 5x, and we're going to divide by 5. So we're just going to do the 4x squared bit here. So 4x squared divided by x is uh, 4x. And then 4x times all of this. So 4x times x is 4x squared. And 4x times negative 2 is negative 8x. Subtracting one from the other. 4x squared minus 4x squared is 0. Negative 5x minus minus 8x is negative 5x plus 8x, uh, which is um, 3x. And we can bring this one down. Now, we're taking 3x minus 6 and we're dividing it by x minus 2. So, 3x divided by x will give us 3. 
3 times x minus 2 will give us 3x minus 6. We divide, oh, sorry, we subtract 0, negative 6, negative 0, 0. There's no remainder here. So, what does all of this tell us? It tells us that x minus 2 times x squared plus 4x plus 3 will give us x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. So I can do like a little the exciting therefore sign, and I can say therefore x minus 2 x squared plus 4x plus 3, let's do it over here, equals um, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. Okay, so that expanded polynomial is equal to this semi-factorized polynomial. Now finally, uh, I can look at x squared plus 4x plus 3, and using the AC method, I'm not going to go through the whole AC method right now, but if I were to use the AC method, I could further factorize that into two more brackets, and you can do this yourself. Uh, that's going to be an X, that's going to be an X, uh, that's going to be a 3, and that's going to be a 1. And what do we see? We see that x minus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 1 is the same as x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6, which we already knew because we started here, x plus 1, x plus 3, x minus 2, same, um, same brackets, different order. We started here, we expanded it, and we got that polynomial. So, first we moved forward by expanding it, and then uh, by multiplying, and then we moved backwards by dividing it using something called division of polynomials.